here we are. The adventure is hot. The big question is, is this my story or your story? Let's find out together, shall we? Got that blunt handy? Yo, hope you're up. I would let you sleep yesterday off, but I have some troublesome motherfucker to attend to, and it can't wait. I'm waiting for you at the main square close to my place. Sober up and come see me. Yeah, good old Eddie. He's the head of logistics, so you better listen to what he has to say, huh? Go meet him. He'll prep you up for the job. Ah, booze and weed. The ancient enemies of short-term memory. Yesterday, you got so fucked up that even I forgot where the keys are. Search the apartment. Gotta be here somewhere. Looking good. Great. Sit down. I'll brief you up. Doobie? Here you go. That's what you're gonna be selling, so test it out. You know what? Sometimes when I get these so-called uh, second thought kind of thing, I come here. Sit down and just watch this shit. You know that every trap in the U.S. has this bull? 25 million bucks it cost them. Always reminds me of who we are to them. Helps keep me focused. Anyway, how was the party? <laughs> yeah, you young motherfuckers tend to do that. Nowadays, I'd be fucked up big time for a week if I'd party that hard in one evening. Uh, well, okay. Anyway, good that you stretched up, because we've got some jobs to do. Listen up. I'm your main and only contact in the cartel. Anything and everything considering the business in and out goes through me. From now on, I'm your daddy, your boss, your fucking wife, all in one person. You need dope? You write to me. You got the cash for the cartel? I take it. You shit your pants? I need to know before you change your underwear. Straightforward. We're gonna start basic. Grass and ant. The three packages waiting for you in a dead drop at the back of the supermarket. Grab them, go home, and get your laptop. There'll be clients writing you soon. You make them sales, and I'll get back to you soon after. Questions? Oh, you're a smart boy. You'll find it. Anyway, get to work. Gotta go. We'll get to you later. Just in case you're wondering, dead drops are hidden drop points, where you will retrieve smaller packages. Trash bins, hole in the ground, a big crack in the wall, you name it. They're usually marked by some kind of symbol, so you should find it pretty easy.
There it is, see it? Alright, now go back home and get to the computer. Your first client should be messaging you any moment now. You'll get notifications on new messages on your phone. But to read them, you'll need the encrypted app on the laptop. Okay, this is Shadycom, a special, fancy, dark web communicator. This is where you order the merchandise from Eddie, and this is where your clients will contact you. It also has other options, but we'll get to that in time. You might need that sexy red backpack on the cupboard. I know you're probably used to those sissy casual games where money's stored in a magic cloud under God's fucking pillow, but it ain't the case for us here. You need space to carry cash, so take that into consideration before you run those first clients. Oh, and did I tell you? Backpacks have downsides as well. The bigger the backpack, the slower you run. And more suspicious you may appear to the police. Okay, I told you. Now that's your problem. No, it's a man who's in college, you can see, yeah? If you see that, yeah? Only just some... Now that's an interesting place. Look up. The two towers, they call it. Creme de la creme of the native pathology. Now, there ain't no Saruman here, but there sure is a lot of magic going on, if you know what I mean.
that tire fire situation and they're sending more police on the streets. Watch out for patrols while you run around. They might be nosy. So, you're in workstation mode now. You can arrange your lab to mix and produce whatever you desire. Remember chemistry classes back in school? <laughs> no? Yeah, me neither. Fuck it, who cares, right? You'll find more info in the workstation manual. Keep in mind, gaining respect is one thing, keeping it is another. Respect in neighborhoods slowly drops in time, so don't forget to keep those sales flowing. Low respect is less sales, less sales is less money, and less money is, huh, well, it just sucks, okay?
Attention, attention. Attention, attention. To all guest citizens, police hours are to start in 60 minutes. Repeat, police hours are to start in 60 minutes. For their own safety, all inhabitants are to proceed to their quarters. Individuals caught in public areas during police hours may face consequences. Atención, atención. Atención, atención. A todos los ciudadanos huéspedes. El horario policial empezará en 60 minutos. Repito, el horario policial empezará en 60 minutos. Por su propia seguridad, todos los habitantes deben dirigirse a sus alojamientos. Las personas que se encuentren dentro de las áreas públicas durante el horario policial pueden sufrir consecuencias. Внимание, внимание. Внимание, внимание. Всем гостям, гражданам. Комендантский час начнется через 60 минут. Повторяю. Комендантский час начнется через 60 минут. В целях вашей собственной безопасности все жители должны находиться в своих домах. Лица, пойманные в общественных местах во время комендантского часа, столкнутся с последствиями. Ding dong, motherfucker. Bedtime. During police hours, you should remain home. But we the bad guys, <laughs> we don't give a fuck. The police do, though. So you keep an eye on them and better stick to the shadows.
Yep, cryptocurrency. This is how you pay for the good stuff here. Illegal stuff. You can buy cryptocurrency from certain shady vendors. In theory, it's been delegalized by the US a few years back, but yeah.
Okay, now listen up. Carefully. The bank account is the place to keep your legal money. You can use ATMs to withdraw or deposit cash, but be careful, huh? And keep in mind that you're an immigrant ghetto lowlife. Too much unregistered money flowing through that account may lure interest of the state, and that, my friend, is asking for trouble. Oh yeah, also avoid getting into debt. First of all, you'll need that account for some payments, and second of all, the state dislikes criminals, but it sure hates debtors.
Thank <laughs> you. 